We're now joined by Dr. Peter Fox. He is chair in the Tetherless World Constellation and professor of Earth and Environmental Science, Computer Science and Cognitive Science at the Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. Thank you so much for being here. I'm very happy to be here, uh, absolutely. So tell me, how do you see data policies in publications helping scientists? By way of introduction, I'm editor-in-chief for Earth and Space Science Journal for AGU. And um, so I see that what, what's happened because of these policies um, in public data policies and publications is that data's become a component of the, what, what we call the science scaffolding that used to be just publications, but also in, in preprints. Well, what that means is early career scientists actually have a much lower barrier to entry in exploring these fields. So this is a, a, a big positive influence of these data policies. And then, you, you know, synthesis studies, things that build on existing work when you've got the data, the availability of the data can be leveraged, not just the science results that's written in the papers. In your experience as an editor, what challenges do you see with data policies? Uh, challenges, yes. So the, many of the policies are still hard to interpret the biggest question I, I get is, does this part of the policy apply to me? And part of it is because the, the, the writing of the policies is in a language that's largely unfamiliar to the authors, the, the scientists themselves. And how do you see publishing data policies influencing open science? Well, the influence to me is very positive. Um, it adds a dimension in the published work to provide greater transparency in how things were done, the conduct of the science, the documentation that, that goes with it. Suddenly you've got, you know, the base information, the base data that went into supporting the claims of the paper, the figures, the tables, and so on. Um, it, also in terms of open science, one thing I've seen is peer pressure actually is quite a, quite a remarkable motivator. It leads to cultural change. Well, oh, so-and-so is publishing in this journal and they're making their data open and, and available and it, it, it creates a culture change. And so it, it leads to this idea that thing could be open by default, which they used to have to be forced into, into the early years as like you protect your data, otherwise you're gonna get scooped. And I see that slowly fading away, melting away. And to me that is, uh, you know, that's the future of how open science can really be uh, useful in the data policies go with it. We just have to make them a little bit more tractable.